Thank you for visiting the Coin Lady channel again. You guys, XRP had a great day, we're sitting just over half a cent. With no discernible change in the price, though. We're still hovering around the 50 to 55 cent range. But I think we will eventually find a way out of this jam. Plus, many people are starting to question whether XRP will have a long season. This bull run could be XRP's undoing according to the XRP Army's persuasive arguments. Accordingly, 60.5% think XRP will join the bull run. And there are a few distinct causes for it. In light of Bitcoin's new all-time high, they discuss its performance. They move on to discuss the Ripple vs. SEC case, which has already occurred this year. However, I believe we will witness it throughout the season for two distinct reasons. First, the legal status of XRP is now clear, in 2021, this was not the case, and many were unsure of the outcome. Nevertheless, XRP is no longer considered a security. Consider all the progress that has been made. In the time after, the SEC helped Ripple grow into a multinational corporation. Moreover, the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit can conclude at any stage. The decision is now with the judges. Do you recall the last time it was in the hands of the judge? Everyone was predicting that we would have to wait two or three months for the judge to make a judgment, and suddenly, out of nowhere, we received legal clarification regarding XRP. Similar to how the Ripple vs. SEC case would abruptly conclude, I believe it will happen with this one. Finally, a ruling will be handed out by the judge. However, I think it's safe to say that we're in for an old season, so keep that in mind after the SEC Ripple Burst case concludes. If XRP's theory turns out to be correct, it will once again become the second most popular cryptocurrency. And I believe that XRP will also flip Bitcoin at some point, it's a question of when, and you should wait until utility kicks in. Alright, now I'm paying attention. The following four scenarios might propel XRP to $550 to $9,873. The number is absolutely precise. King XRP is the source of this. This data will be retained on your charts by XRP holders. Number one, according to him, is $18.57. Announcement of settlement, very specific figure again. After seeing Brad talk about switching Ethereum, I could totally see that happening. The second number, $257.21, is then mentioned by him. We would certainly hit triple digits if bank relationships and integration had a domino effect, taking additional business away from Swift. He continues by bringing up the Ripple IPO, which has never been anything I cared about because its impact on the price of XRP is still unknown. We'll just have to watch how that plays out. Cost ranges, then he says $59,873.18 for global CBDC integration, what happens next is anyone's guess. The initial two, however. Without a doubt, I could it will unfold. The final one, though, isn't too far off either. Look at this. They are now claiming that we approach XRP through a utility token paradigm, and they are also predicting that total global cross-border payments would reach $230 trillion by 2028. What a huge sum. It has the potential to greatly increase XRP's value. The $230 trillion international money transfer industry is ripe for Ripple to corner. Once again, I believe we will be able to collect a substantial portion, how much, exactly, is still a mystery to us. Oh, please, have a look at this. More than 500 customers, partners, and payments have signed up with Ripple and are prepared to make full use of the network on demand. Additionally, an even more astounding number are linked through platforms such as Neom and Rail Lights, etc. There are rails that are set up immediately through Ripple, as I've always told you, but you should look beyond that. 
Tirolo is doing fine, and you can see all the rails that Nyam is installing. In addition, Ripple's other partners are continuously expanding the network by laying additional rails, creating an enormous system. Therefore, it's safe to say that we can rule out all possible XRP prices. If you perceive it correctly. This is derived from ISO GO, and it doesn't matter if you think it's real or not, if you want to accept it or reject it. Here we are at the tokenization stage, where trillions of dollars will be generated. There will be a proliferation of it among utility cryptocurrencies. Stellar will get some, and Hadera will get some more. Additionally, I anticipate that Ripple will acquire a sizable portion. So, what's the holdup? Prohibitions on certain aspects of tokenization prevent their broad use. Regulation is one such example. However, further rules are also on the way this year. Take a look at Micah's situation. In addition, I anticipate that rules will be established in the United States this year. You won't believe the scale of tokenization when it occurs, it's already happening on a micro level, until trillions of dollars are involved. Listen in as David Schwartz argues that banks are more concerned with tokenization than with actual payments. In the sector, which could reach $10 trillion by the year 2030. Regarding the rise of tokenization, you are aware. When Ripple was first starting off, you know, the fact that many financial institutions are more interested in digital asset insurance and tokenized commodities like golden payment processing is something else I picked up from my conversations with them. To me, that sounds like tokenized securities, Things like those PK HSBC's interest in. In my opinion, real-time payments are the main focus of the banks. That isn't their primary concern, though, I believe they place a higher importance on tokenization. Furthermore, that will simultaneously cause an increase in custody. For that reason, Medico is crucial. A storage solution is required because you will be tokenizing a large number of assets. Medico is going to be that spot. Tokenization will allow it to quickly add a ton of value to the XRP ledger. Imagine XRP then, acting as a bridge currency and everyday transferring all that value. For that reason, I am not ruling out any possibilities related to XRP. Reason being, XRP's role as a bridge currency there is no ceiling. The infusion of trillions of dollars into these networks will surprise even those who study past cycles and market caps. Plus, XRP isn't the only one. Q, T, and XTC will be involved, along with XLM and HBAR. What lies ahead is going to be absolutely amazing. Furthermore, this is already very near to becoming a reality. Well, that concludes our video. As always, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe and leave a comment with your opinions. Muchas gracias, depart.